is Movie Town. Leslie Mitchell reporting. England versus Wales at Wembley. Another step in Alf Ramsey's campaign to find a force for the World Cup in 1966. England set the ball rolling. The Welsh team had high hopes of success. After beating Scotland at Cardiff, their manager, Dave Bowen, was reasonably confident. But England playing at home are traditionally almost invincible. Welsh goalie Millington needed no reminders of that. England were getting their eye in, even if the net was eluding them. Welsh retaliation gave some earnest practice for England's defence. But there was no score until later when Frank Wignall gave England the lead they were looking for. The ex Everton centre forward, snapped up by Notts Forest for 20,000 and playing in his first international at Wembley, scores England's first. That was the score up to the interval and well into the second half. Wales were far from dismayed and England were a long way from holding them. It was Wignall who gave England a chance to increase their advantage. Once again, he combined with Hinton. A beautiful header. 2-0. High time Dave Bowen's boys got cracking. And this is how they did it. Fifteen minutes from time, Ron Davies passed to winger Jones, and he made it 2-1. Could they force a draw? In a typical fiery finale, Wales pummeled with all their might and very nearly succeeded. More by luck than judgment, England kept them out. <laughs> 